What's going on, my people? It's Girl Man's Gang. We're back with this gaming. And we are here on the Division 2. And I just wanted to bring y'all um, more of an informational video um, as the raid is now out and what type of builds you should be running. Um, and specifically, I guess, for what encounters uh, you should be running them in. So. Um, oh my god, dropping my phone while I'm doing recordings. Oh my god, you're not even professional, man. <laughs> but, um, alright. So, some of the builds you should be running. Um, definitely a CC build. I wouldn't say the exotic mask, but, um, definitely a CC build where you focus more on having your, your CC up. So, you know, you definitely want the chest piece, um, so it transfers. And I guess you could do, I mean, if you're using the hive to apply status effects, then you can use BTSU. Um, but then you could just use the, the exotic backpack, right? You have the exotic, exotic backpack, and then you just use whatever holster um, that you would want. So this is how I usually run my CC build with the... Uh, everlasting gaze and then um i mean depending on what i'm doing but uh most times i'll just have an ar like the mechanical animal um which gives me a skill tier which gives me the overcharge because i'm already at skill tier six all right so this is one of the builds you can run you want status effects of all pieces and then um you can have a skill haste or a skill duration which makes the skills stay out there longer especially like the status effects like the chem notches on the ground and stuff like that um this is one build you should you you should run definitely in the uh first encounter which is um if i go here so the first encounter we have for that is the uh, lieutenant gray so there's a lot of ads in that one so having the Having CC in that one is pretty nice. Um, and then definitely in Major Williams, which is the third boss, there's a lot of ads there also, which is also uh, pretty nice. I mean, even, even in the final boss, it's pretty nice to have a CC, but then ideally you want, you know, you want tank. You want a tank. You want a couple tanks there, right? But you can have a CC throughout most of the encounters, definitely not in the second one, or the I'd say more likely the first and the uh, third boss is what you want the CCs to be at. Um, but yeah. So, another build you should run. And I'm taking into account that not everyone has the time to farm some of the new pieces. For example, like Future Initiative. Um, but I mean, if you have time, you can just farm it from the uh, gear sets. Um, just look on the map, whichever it is today, just go to the new gear sets, do the open world, or do the mission, and you get them. So, this is one of the builds you should be running. Definitely a healer. If you can get a high-end healer, that would be amazing. Um, but, like, depending on the situation, if you want to go for the most output on the heals, you want to be using Connect Momentum, which increases your skill pair, skill, t uh, skill repair up to a maximum of 15 stacks right so 15 and 2 is 30 but then that's per skill so you can get a maximum of 60% increase in healing um, which just means that you'll be repairing your teammates armor more than usual even though you're getting 100% boost um, using the backpack time in here safeguard but i mean if your damage you're taking damage also gives you just that extra boost in healing right but um also when on the first definitely the first boss and maybe even on the second boss but it's not too much needed definitely on the definitely on the fourth boss you would need it but a healer build instead of running this uh chest piece talent you'd want something like empathic resolve or Overwatch. Overwatch gives you um, twelve percent to weapon damage and skill damage for your team and yourself. Um, 
but you don't have to get healed so you can basically have up like a hundred percent uptime whereas empathetic resolve you have to get healed but i mean in the raid taking damage and your healer's doing his job you're gonna have that buff up if you're using future initiative um because that gives you uh 15 percent using future initiative also gives you 15 percent the chest piece however bumps that 15 up to 25 but then you can't use the uh empathetic results and you're losing basically five percent in that um conversation because using the chest piece you have to be at full armor to receive this additional um bonus in damage right so that's one of the builds you're going to be using a healer set you can have a high-end healer um like this one so you got the two piece you got the one piece uh two piece of mccrami three piece of um, rnk rich on kaiser um so you got you can run it like that um which is still an effective healer build it's still effective still does a job but i mean if you don't have the time uh to farm gear sets i guess you can make up a quick high-end healer build which still does the job you will still be giving if you use an overwatch and perfecto resolve your team is still getting a 15 or 12 percent increase in damage output um so that is one thing to keep in mind so that is the cc build and healer build done and that's the type of builds you want to be running um but also tank builds let's talk about tanks because you know what in the raid it's not just about healing it's not just about keeping your enemies blind and in place it's also about your tanks how can you tank the damage how could you stop your team and i have a few builds for you so here um we can use a high-end tank right uh and this tank consists of golden gear three piece we got uh we got a uh, one of the named gloves here so we got one of the named gloves which is marvelly love which gives you 10 percent skill health and you just roll that to armor you also have a named holster here the forge also gives you shield health 10 percent then you just roll that to armor and then we have one piece um of gilla which gives you five percent total armor but then we have perfect vanguard which gives our team 50 percent of the armor of armor our armor when we when we use our shield so and that corner is every 25 seconds the armor buff lasts for 20 seconds so you can basically have that up every 20 seconds you have it up there's a five second cooldown more or less um and this is one of the builds you want to be using definitely in the raid so that's one of that's a high-end build if you're looking at a uh a uh, one of the new builds you can go with a four piece with the mask the holster um, then you can go with the knee pads with the bulwark. Maybe if you got the backpack, you can switch out the. You can put the backpack on, rather than having protector. Um, and you run it like that, right? That's how you can run it, right? So I have two point one million armor. That's how much armor I have on this build. So I could run it like this. So this is one way you can run it if you have the chest piece which i do not have yet but once i do get a chest piece uh i wouldn't necessarily run it in the raid just because having some with perfect vanguard or vanguard is still amazing and it's actually better to have it for you and your team than just have it um for regen in the armor right but this is definitely one of the ways you can run with the bulwark or a high-end build also we have another tank and these tanks will definitely be useful i'd say definitely in the fourth boss the third boss um and even the first boss in fact all of the whole raid the whole raid of iron horse is definitely one uh tanks are definitely useful in in all parts of the raid now if you're looking focused and you're focusing more on the second boss 
the third boss, which where you get a lot of status effects. This is one of the builds you want to be running. I have a status effect um, build, so I have no status effects. So if I show you here, I don't get any status effects. So if we go into stats, um, my hazard protection is 84%. Now, it could be 100% once I get the, if I had hazard protection on this chest piece, then it would be, you know, at at a maximum of, uh, at a maximum of, of 94%, but then obviously with the shade levels, I could definitely be at 100 status effect, right? But this is one of the abilities you want to be running in the second boss. Why? We have 511, three pieces which give you hazard protection. And then we're using one piece um, of Yarl gear to give you hazard protection. 10%. And then you're using the two piece of uh, Seska to give you hazard protection. And then you obviously get crit chance in it. But if you're using on this on the second boss, for example, even a third boss, second boss, and you're using a tank to stay in the room, you want this tank to run in like this. They have Intimidate to get bonus um, damage from when they have bonus armor. That way, if they run it like this, they will be getting an additional 35% weapon damage when they get bonus armor standing behind the boss to stop the wipes. You just run an LMG, MG5. Um, and you're basically golden. You run the MG5 unhinged, and that way, that is your um, zero status effect um, tank build. So I run it like this with four pieces and two reds. You can even run it with one red um, if you have a LMG glove. But um, I mean, this way is pretty nice. So this is how you want to run it. If you're using a zero status, zero status, a hundred percent status effect build, right? So we done tanks, we done healers, um, we done CC builds. One build I haven't done is DPS. Now we all know DPS I run for this raid is a. Uh, I see a lot of people running the negotiators, um. I mean that's okay but I necessarily wouldn't run that but you can if you want to it's totally up to you but some builds you want to be running if you're looking at pure damage especially on first boss you could be using something like the marks and rifle build with four piece um, eights and eights and then you can even go with a focus chest piece or headhunter agent requesting backup or then you can go with a uh, the Aradi Holdings backpack or whatever or the chest piece for with vigilance right so this is one of the DPS builds you can run and in the raid you definitely want the technician tech, uh, the attack rifle uh, specializations drone because this really is nice and you see a whole bunch of the enemies which is also nice or you go with an AR build um, using you know can run an AR build like this. So that way you got three piece uh providence. You got a uh Fenris group uh glove for soul rifle damage and you can just go with a fox player's knee pad. Or you you could either go with a uh Grupo Summer mask or a Seska mask for increased crit chance. Or you can go with the Kyoji's mask. Right, so it's more or less like a rifle build, standard issue rifle build. It just with that copy was just depending on what you're actually using, um, whether it's a rifle, AR, or whatever. Um, and if you're looking at rifles, you can go with a classic M1A, or you can go with uh, something like the Virginia, or the 1886, or the Diamondback, which give you uh, pretty much a lot of more, a lot more damage in that department, right? So these are some of the builds you want to be using. Um, Definitely damage builds uh, majority of what people will have. So I'd say some of the other builds are pretty pretty nice and basically I won't say 
you need them in the raid. Having a damage build is also nice, but you need the people need other builds, and I think this is a way to you know demonstrate and show what builds you kind of need in the raid. But even though Iron Horse is not a DPS, you also need some DPS. So we can't have too much, we can't have too little, or we won't complete the raid. With that being said, that is all the builds I wanted to show to you today. So I've gone through, we've had healer build, we had CC builds, um, we had tank builds and we had healer builds, and now we had DPS. If you guys find it informative of the what builds you want to run and um, how you should run them, then uh, smash that like button. Don't forget to comment down below um, of what have you thought. You know, what builds are you running? How many times have you completed it yet? And um, if you haven't completed it, um, I'll put a link in the description to my Discord. We can get you in there, train you up. Let you know all the mechanics of the raid and um, get your f your first completion. With that being said, this is Squirrel Man's Gaming. I'm out. Peace.